When it launched, the 737 MAX was Boeing's answer to stiff competition, a fuel-efficient workhorse to rival Airbus, which had been eating Boeing's market share. And there were significant design changes from previous incarnations of the 737. Bigger engines shifted forward. On takeoff, that could mean the nose tips upwards. Now we're in aerodynamic stop. Thinking. Thinking. And that could risk a stall, one that could lead to a crash. Many pilots practice for such an event. There you go, nice recovery, John. To compensate, Boeing added software called MCAS. If instruments detected the nose getting too high, it would automatically prompt the stabilizer on the tail to pitch the aircraft down. Their problem was they forgot to tell the pilots about it. Without understanding, pilots could inadvertently fight with the MCAS. If it malfunctions, they may not understand why or even spot and solve the problem. Rather than something being critically wrong with the airplane, I think that the training and the qualification of some of these people that are on it are inadequate. American regulators did not require Boeing to directly inform pilots that the MCAS software existed or order new training to be familiar with it. For some in aviation, that's the problem. These type of anomalies are... Uh like little gremlins. They can be, you can be flying for several hundred thousand hours before it rears its, its uh, ugly head. So why not just do the training? Well, taking pilots out of planes and into simulators costs money and time, an expense in a highly competitive razor margin industry. After the Lion Air crash in Indonesia, Boeing did issue a bulletin to pilots about the existence of MCAS and how to deal with it but it didn't order training. Of course, it's not known if the MCAS played a role in this latest crash, though Boeing is now upgrading the software. The FAA anticipates that be done by next month. Boeing says this will make an already safe aircraft even safer. David Common, CBC News, Toronto. The MAX jets are key to Boeing's future. There are billions of dollars worth still on order. They're made in part by workers at a plant in Washington state, and that's where Briar Stewart went today to see how this is hitting them. It's the afternoon shift change at the Boeing factory. 12,000 people work here, the home of the 737 MAX jet. An employee told CBC that the groundings are the talk on the factory floor and in the community too. If Boeing wasn't here, our business wouldn't be here. And so, yeah, it's, it's nerve-wracking a little bit to know what might come of all this. Greg Heller's parents run a business that has contracts with Boeing, but there's another reason he's paying close attention. As a flight attendant, I'm glad I'm not flying that particular aircraft for my company. But this plane drives all of the work here. Crews assemble them, putting the final touches on jets destined for airlines around the world, including Canada. Of the 5,800 orders Boeing currently has for planes, 80% of them are for the 737 MAX. It's the fastest selling aircraft in Boeing's history, which is why there's a lot at stake for the company. What do you think it's like in that factory and in the offices right now? Devastating. You know, I think everybody's questioning, what did they miss? What could they have done better? Um, it's a tragic outcome to see your product take lives. Peter Lemmy worked as a Boeing engineer and manager. He still believes the 737 MAX is safe, but says it's disappointing the company didn't update its software earlier. We knew what had happened to Lion Air. We knew that MCAS had some design deficiencies. Um, Boeing did not take that information and go out in the fleet and fix all those airplanes with a sense of urgency. This journalist covers the aviation industry and says the groundings are going to be painful for the company. And you declare an airplane to be the fastest, best selling in the world, when it has some problems, you're going to get a lot more scrutiny. Still, he believes the long-term outlook is good, considering that Boeing makes around 50 planes a month here, which means it will take the company seven years to fulfill all the orders it currently has. Briar Stewart, CBC News, Brenton, Washington.